Many of us have often thought, are we alone? Is there life in our solar system? Is there life in our galaxy? Is there life anywhere else in the vast universe? Given the size of the universe, with an unimaginable amount of stars and solar systems, there has to be life out there somewhere, surely. In 1950, physicist Enrico Fermi asked this question amongst colleagues and quickly went to work on calculations on the probabilities of life existing elsewhere. Just in our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which is thought to contain up to 400 billion stars, estimations suggest there are roughly 20 billion stars composed just like that of our Sun. If just one in five has an Earth-like planet in orbit within the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, where it is not too hot or too cold, that would give us four billion planets that could potentially support life. If just a mere 0.1% of these Earth analog planets do actually have life within them, then this amounts to 4 million life-dwelling homes. If just 1% of these planets contain intelligent life comparable to humans, that gives us 40,000 civilizations. And if just 1% of these civilizations were capable of spaceflight, and like humans, are explorers who want to expand to other planets, then there will be 400 whizzing around in space around the Milky Way. And this is just from using low estimates. But the problem is, we have zero evidence that these calculated probabilities are actually happening. And this is the basis of the Fermi paradox. So, where are they? There are many theories as to why we are yet to detect any other forms of intelligent life. And these include, we are the first to emerge with technology capable of transmitting and receiving communications across space, and therefore it is currently impossible to make contact. Natural disasters such as supervolcanoes or large asteroid impacts are wiping out developing civilizations. Weather conditions and climates on other planets could be too unstable to sustain life long enough for sufficient evolution development. Their planet is poor on resources, so may never have the ability to progress technologically. Other civilizations are choosing not to look outward. Maybe we are just not able to detect them through incompatible technologies, using methods and devices we have no understanding of, or you could say, completely alien to us. Other civilizations that may have became capable of communications have already lived out their existence and no longer exist, possibly by destroying themselves through wars or with much more powerful and advanced technology. But should we be able to see some form of evidence of previous existence in the cosmos? Maybe, just maybe, we are a fluke, an anomaly, and are the only ones out there, anywhere. Or worse yet, we could have been created, physically or virtually, and are currently being observed by a super-intelligent species hiding from us, just to see how we develop. We could potentially be some sort of scientific experiment that could end any time. It's a scary thought. Whatever the truth actually is, we may never discover it. But that will not stop us from trying. We would love to know your thoughts on this subject and the video as a whole, so please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. We really appreciate your support in helping the channel grow.